I decided when I was very young, about the age of eight, that I wanted to be a physicist. I think it's pretty unusual for someone quite that young to pick something quite so obscure and fixate on it, but for me it was very simple. I saw this TV program called What's New, and there was a guy in a white coat who spun a bucket of water over his head and the water didn't come out. It was the coolest thing. So I just decided right then and there, I'm going to be a physicist. I think there was a time in graduate school when there was a whole bunch of us sitting around in our office. This was in Santa Barbara. It was a room we could oversee the ocean. It was just gorgeous. And we were working very hard in our PhDs. We had more intellectual freedom than we would ever have again in some ways in our lives and more time to think about ideas in a free way. So of course we were horribly depressed. And the only thing we could think about was the fact that we were just never gonna get a job. Just never gonna get a job. What are the odds? We calculated the odds. We could do that. We were physicists, so we could calculate. We calculated that the chances were like one in 10 million against any one of us getting a job in physics. Well, actually, we all got jobs in physics, every last one of us in the office. So I don't even, I don't know where our calculations went wrong. They were terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Every subject has its own way of teaching people to solve problems. The way I learned in physics turns out to have been just tremendously valuable. I've been able to solve so many different things and go and do things I never would have expected. I got to participate as an expert witness in a trial between uh, two semiconductor companies and uh, got to watch as judge and jury tried to wrestle with questions about what does separation mean in materials at the atomic scale. I've gotten to study breaking things, lots of things, breaking glass, breaking plastic, ripping garbage bags, popping balloons, and have things that I learned from popping balloons have implications for the study of earthquakes. That was fascinating. I've gotten to map archeological sites that was a lot of fun. And most recently, I have been studying the data that has been coming out of all the wells that are producing shale gas in Texas. All of that because I have a good basic grounding in physics and have tools available to me that I can use. If you do learn a discipline well, it opens up doors to you, particularly in the United States that welcomes expertise and who knows where you can go.